A true representative multiracial democracy. That's what Washington Community Alliance is fighting for. And in 2021, our coalition of organizations and community leaders made transformational progress across the state. When the final 2020 census results came in this year, we saw how successful our historic relational organizing campaign really was. Our communities got counted in record numbers. We now have the most accurate data we've ever had about the diversity of our democracy, reflecting that people of color make up over a third of Washington State's population. Now the infrastructure bill passed by Congress this fall and the 2021 redistricting process are already allocating investments and representation to our communities based on the new census figures. We got Washington counted. Now we're fighting to make sure that everyone counts. Here's what our coalition accomplished in 2021 to fight for a truly inclusive multiracial democracy. We organized for and won historic progressive legislation in the state. We passed the HEAL Act. That's the Healthy Environment for All Act, which finally builds environmental justice right into state law. This year in Washington, we had some of the biggest victories in police reform. We won a capital gains tax that will tax the rich and bring in $500 million to fund child care. And we demystified the legislative process along the way through our blog, newsletter, and live events to allow more people to participate in an unprecedented remote session in the middle of a pandemic. It's, it was a great session, I think largely because the people who came in understood that we needed systemic change. We've continued to staff and support our incredible member-led coalitions that are putting communities of color in a position of leadership in redistricting, democracy reforms, and more. Redistricting Justice for Washington quickly became a key player in the 2021 redistricting process. We organized unprecedented community testimony, provided in-depth map analysis, and reshaped the public narrative about redistricting to center the voting rights of communities of color. We've seen our impact clearly reflected in the final map proposals, and our work continues to keep our communities together. Washington for Equity Representation is leading the way in introducing critical democracy reforms to dismantle our racist electoral systems. If you, your community or party are 40% of the electorate, you should win 40% of the seats. By implementing rate choice voting in certain local elections, it has been particularly effective at making sure that there is visibility and viability of diverse candidates. Through legislation, legal action, and ballot initiatives, we're bringing proportional rate choice voting to Washington, one city and one county at a time, to give people more choice and better representation. We fought for immigration justice. We won and distributed the $98 million Washington COVID-19 Immigrant Relief Fund to undocumented workers left out of the federal stimulus. But this year, we won some revolutionary changes. The state budget for the next two years now includes an unprecedented $314 million for immigrant communities. The Washington COVID-19 Immigrant Relief Fund which is providing vital economic relief for our immigrant communities. This year, Washington for Black Lives worked closely with legislators to develop and pass policies that improve the safety and well-being of all our communities. That includes shifting the power from police back into the hands of civilians, as well as taxing the wealthy, making sure they pay their fair share, and improving outcomes for us all. We cannot allow accountability to be negotiated away by our police departments. We also implemented tools like the police scorecard, which increased our community efforts to hold the police accountable. We backed our member organizations in doing vital outreach to their communities. They used their own platforms and recruited trusted messengers to fight misinformation about COVID vaccines and to inform thousands of low-income families about the expanded child tax credit benefit. Our sister organization, Washington Community Alliance Action Fund, supported first-time progressive candidates of color to run and win local political offices. 
we developed a first-of-its-kind analysis that clearly shows just how underrepresented people of color are in Washington's local offices. After this year's efforts in partnership with Progress Alliance, Equal Rights Washington, SAGE Leaders, and One America Votes, we elected a new cohort of leaders of color across Washington State. In 2022, we'll look to do even more and bring our community's voices to the ballot box. We're still in the middle of one of the most challenging periods of our country's history. Our electoral systems are increasingly captured by corporations and the wealthy, they're vulnerable to the rise of white authoritarianism, and they're at risk of buckling under the weight of our winner-take-all elections. The wealth we're building together in our economy is accumulating in the hands of too few. What's different now is that organizations and tribes from working class, black and brown communities of our state have a network in Washington Community Alliance to fight back. The victories from this year are a sign of what we're capable of when we come together and the opportunities in 2022 are up to us to make the most of. Join us in celebrating the progress our multiracial coalition has made together.